Kia ora and welcome to this IT training tutorial video on creating your table of contents, list of figures, and list of tables. Now this is usually your absolutely final thesis step. This is done after you've combined all your chapters together and you've already updated all your caption numbering, you've formatted your endnote citations, you've created your bibliography, you've added the appendices at the end, everything else is done. So now what I need to do is to go into my preliminary section part of my document and I'll add in those tables. Now I'll start with the table of figures, also known as a list of figures, and the table of tables. So what I've done is I've got a heading and I've just got a space below it. So for the figures and tables we go to the references tab and choose insert table of figures. And then you just choose the correct caption label. So this is the label that you used in your captioning. So when I click OK, this is everything that had the word figure in it. And now I'll go to the tables and I'll do the exact same thing, references tab, insert table of figures, and just change this to table. And then click OK. And that's done. And now here's my very final step. I go into my table of contents, references tab, table of contents, ignore all the built-in ones and go to custom table of contents. You can leave this as it is. If you have more levels that you'd like to display, you could change that. That's what you can do in here. And then you just click OK. And that is complete. Now just to make sure that you know, if you are now looking at your table of contents and you realize that there's a mistake somewhere, if you need to update it, don't update the table of contents. Instead, update it inside your document. So I'm just going to hover and I can see that I can click on control and click. And I might go in here and just make a change just to show you. And when I go back, what I'll do is I'll go back to the table of contents, click inside here, just make sure I can find that thing I changed, right click and update the field. Now when you do this, it's going to try to just get away with updating page numbers, but we want it to update the entire table. So I'll click OK, and when I look back in here I can see there's my change to that text. So you should always change it in the document rather than in the table of contents. And I'll just point out again one other thing. Some people don't like the way that the table of contents is in the table of contents. So if you do want to remove that, click out to the left so that it's highlighted and then just press delete. But do be aware if for some reason you need to update this table of contents again, that's going right back in because it's picking up all of your headings. Now when you created this table of contents as well, I'll just also mention, I forgot, uh, when you get here, if you leave these ticked, then your table of contents in the PDF that you create will also be live links that take people to that part of the document. Okay, that concludes this IT training tutorial video. Thanks for your attention. Kia ora.